Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Heather and I am a Beyond Quantum Healing Hypnosis Practitioner. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about what you can expect when you have a quantum healing hypnosis session. And you may be a little surprised by the answer. The thing about a BQH session is that they are all so very different. The lifetimes that comes through are different, the healing is different, and the way a client receives information is different. It really varies from session to session and client to client as to what is experienced. So. I always try to suggest to my clients to let go of any and all expectations about what their session may be like and to simply allow the session to unfold exactly as it should. As the practitioner, I'm only guiding the client through their session by asking questions to help them bring forward the information that they need, but what actually comes through for them is guided by their higher self and their spirit guides. And what they need during that session to help them with their own healing and on their path in this life may not look exactly like what the client expected. So if you've watched any of my other videos, I talk about the need to release trapped energies that may come from this lifetime or from past lifetimes where there's an experience that needs a little healing. We hold so many emotions in the body that hold us back in this life and they need to be released sometimes in order to help us move forward. So when you come in for a session, your higher guidance may feel like the most important thing for you to work on is healing and releasing those issues. So we'll take a look at where that energy originated and we will work to release and heal it so that you can begin to let go of these challenges and issues that you may be experiencing in this lifetime. But you may have the expectation of wanting to tap into some galactic lives or some more exciting lifetimes other than a basic human life, but there may be more important things that need to be resolved before you can move into those types of lives. But no matter what you experience during a session, know that it is exactly what you need to help you move forward in your current life. So in one of my first quantum healing hypnosis sessions for myself, I worked with the beautiful Laura Whitworth, who is a quantum healer based in the UK. I've been listening to her videos for quite a while and I felt a really strong connection to her. So I set up a session last year around November, couldn't be more excited, and I went in with the expectation of connecting with one of my galactic lives or a really cool life that was not just human. <laughs> but I was able to connect um, in with the lifetime of a fairy, which I'd al already seen in a few deep meditations that I had done prior to the session. However, I gotta tell you, I spent the majority of that session in tears. And I'm not just talking about a few tears here and there. I mean, I ugly cried. <laughs> For most of the session, the tears flowed and I couldn't stop them. There was just so much emotion that had been trapped in my body for so long that while I was in a light state of trance, those emotions could freely come to the surface and, and release. And that was exactly what I needed to experience because it helped me with my own healing. But it was definitely not what I expected or what I wanted to happen during the session. So the thing about quantum healing is there has never been a more important time than now to work on releasing all of the density that you're holding within the physical body. And as we shift into higher states of consciousness and into a new dimensional plane of existence, it's more important than ever to begin to release that heavy baggage full of trapped emotions from the body so that you can become lighter and feel much more balanced in your energy. 
and quantum healing hypnosis sessions provide clients with a safe space to work through those heavy emotions so they can let them go for good and to step into who they are truly meant to be in this life. So let's talk for a moment about how you may experience receiving the information during your session. The clients I work with all receive information during their session in so many different ways. Many clients come in with the expectation that they're going to see everything play out in front of them as if they're watching a movie. However, the truth is many clients do not see things as clearly as they expect and this can sometimes cause them to feel a little frustrated during their session when i'm working with a client before their session we talk about the fact that they may not see as much of the scene in front of them and that's completely normal there are many ways of receiving information and one of them is by tuning in to your inner knowing and that's something that I will help you do. Just to allow those thoughts and the information to come to you and to trust what you are receiving even if you don't actually see it very clearly, that's okay. I've had the same experience in a few of my own quantum healing hypnosis sessions where I expected to see things very clearly so that I could describe what was going on around me. But for me, it was more of a receiving information through thoughts and brief images and having to trust that I had the answer to what the practitioner was asking. My conscious mind wanted to judge and analyze some of what I was receiving, and that can make a session a little bit more difficult. But when I was able to let go of trying to control the session, and I began to trust my own inner knowing and simply allow the information to flow to me and through me, I was able to tap into so much more information, and it flowed so effortlessly. So if you're thinking about having a quantum healing hypnosis session, it's so very important to let go of any expectations as to how you may receive the information from your higher guidance. It can be very visual, but for many, it's more of a knowing and a trusting that you are connected to your higher self and your team of light, and you are receiving everything that you need for your session. So what can you do to prepare for your quantum healing hypnosis session? Well, I recommend to my clients that they begin to practice meditation prior to their session because it will help you learn how to quiet that conscious chatty mind and it will help you to get into a higher frequency will which will assist you greatly during your session. I also suggest to begin a practice of visualizing and using your imagination to create different scenes in your mind. The higher self communicates to you through your imagination and through visualization. So the more you can practice prior to your session, the better experience you might have. So to work on visualization, you can simply close your eyes, Take in a few deep breaths and then allow yourself to create a scene in your mind. And as you create the scene, focus in on the various details of the scene and be as specific as possible. Tune into the details of the scene, like the color of things, the texture, the way something might feel, and be as detailed and descriptive as possible. So I provide new clients with a guided visualization exercise that takes you to a beach and asks you to describe in your mind what is around you. And this exercise will help you to understand what it may be like during your hypnosis session. But if you're not a visual person, that's no problem at all. As you're practicing with visualization, I recommend tapping into that imagination. If you can't see the beach or the sand or the umbrella, no problem, just make it up. Use your imagination to create the scene. And that is a perfect way to strengthen your ability to visualize during your quantum healing hypnosis session.
So I also provide new clients with a guided meditation and my new guided energy healing session, which were both created to help you prepare. But here's what I want you to take away from this video. No matter what practitioner you choose to work with, the most important thing that you can do is to let go of any expectation about what your session will be like. Know that you are being guided to do the work that you need to do to help you release what needs to be released and heal what needs to be healed. You may have a very visual session or you may not see much at all. And that's completely normal, and it's not going to prevent you from having the session that you need. I will tell you that with my clients, the ones who come back for a second session tend to be able to tap into those um, higher galactic lives or those alternate lives, those, those lives we consider to be a little bit more exciting because they did a lot of the clearing work in their first session. So the second session allows them to begin to connect even more deeply to their higher consciousness. So. If your first session is focused more on the healing work you needed, then when you feel guided, a second session may bring you even deeper levels of information for you to connect with. So I hope this helps just a little to help you understand what you can expect during quantum healing hypnosis session and what not to expect. And it helps you to understand a little more about the process. These sessions are so healing and they are so very needed as we experience this great shift that we are all in at the moment. And if you're interested in experiencing a quantum healing hypnosis session, you can visit my website, which is quantumhealingwithin.com and click on the link at the top to check my calendar and book a session. I work with clients all around the world, so if you need a slightly different time than what's available, please feel free to email me at heather at quantum healing within, and we can find a good time to work together. So thanks for listening. Please be sure to subscribe to be notified of future videos, and I will talk to you next time.